In this lesson, you're going to learn about mate references. Mate references help you assemble parts into an assembly using predefined references for the mates to lock onto. Let's take a look at how they work. I have open right here a mate reference assembly. You can open this from your Infinite Skills folder for Chapter 7. And I also have open a part that has a mate reference saved in it. If you go to Window, Tile Vertically, these will come up next to one another. The mate reference in the practice part is located right under the head of the pin. So it is at the intersection of the cylindrical face and the planar face. It will give us the most benefit when we use the mate reference to give us automatic mates. Let's take a look at what it does. If I drag the part from the name of the practice part over into the assembly, notice that the part snaps right into place and it gives a little icon on the cursor to tell us that it's creating what's called a smart mate. If I take a look at the mate that this has created, I've got a concentric and a coincident mate because of the mate reference on the original part. Mate references are found under the Reference Geometry pull-down on your Features tab of the Command Manager. There are three possible references that you can select. With a cylindrical part like this, I always select a circular edge. To create the mate reference, I'm going to select the circular edge underneath the head, and we'll talk about the secondary and tertiary references in a moment. Let's tile the windows. Okay, now with the windows tiled, let's remove the other part that we practiced inserting, and insert this part with our new mate reference. As soon as it gets near the part, it just snaps right in. Now the other part doesn't have a mate reference. So this is one part with a mate reference snapping to another part without a mate reference. Mate references are most commonly used on library parts that you will use again and again and get mated in the same way over and over. Mate references can also be used in another situation. Let's say, You've got a part that has mate references associated with it that's already in an assembly. And you want to add another part into that assembly and have it mate together in such a way that a smart mate won't work. Or maybe these are parts that are commonly assembled and you need them to consistently snap together with the same mates. In this case, you can drag the part from its own window or from another window into the assembly and it snaps together with the other mate referenced part. So if we look at both of these parts, the green part had a mate reference and the gray part also has a mate reference. In this case, the mate references must be the same. Let's take a look at how this mate reference was created. In this case, we have a cylindrical face for a concentric mate, a flat face for a coincident mate, and a concentric mate with another cylindrical face for the small cylinder. In order for this to mate to another part that has mate references, the other part must have exactly the same formula of mate references. So a cylindrical face for a concentric mate, a planar face for a coincident, and another cylindrical for a concentric. I should add that the distance between the centers of the two concentric mates on the other part will also need to be exactly the same. So let's open up the green part and take a look at that mate reference. Right click and edit definition. Again, we have a cylindrical face and concentric mate, planar face, a coincident mate, and another cylindrical face with a concentric mate. 
in my experience, this doesn't happen as frequently as having a library part with a mate reference, but it is something that's good to know about the functionality. You can go even further with the distinction between mate references and rename the mate reference. For example, you might have a mate reference called washer and another mate reference called nut. If a plate with a hole in it had multiple mate references, one named washer and one named nut, then it would only automatically apply a mate reference that had a matching name. So this type of matching mate reference is fairly uncommon because mate references tend to be on library parts that you will mate over and over again. If you were to design a plate, you would probably not add mate references to it. It would take more time than it would save. 